Now, your KRBC Storm Team forecast with meteorologist Grant Tosteruth. Much quieter start to our Thursday morning. This time yesterday, we started to see a few of those thunderstorms push through the big country. Now that quiet weather is going to extend into this afternoon after those rounds of severe weather yesterday, even a tornado warning out there near in Callahan County. Now this morning here in Abilene, still starting out very mild for this time of year, 50 degrees on that thermometer. We're dealing with clear skies out there, but as you can see on our tower cam, shaking around just a little bit, we are seeing some pretty breezy conditions this morning, but those winds will die down later this afternoon. Yesterday, those showers and Thunderstorms produced some pretty hefty rainfall totals across areas of the big country. Throckmorton came in the winter yesterday at getting over two and a quarter inches of rain up there. Even Clyde got almost an inch and a quarter, along with Stanford seeing over an inch up there. Abilene, we just got shy of about an inch of rain, 93 hundredths of an inch here at the Abilene Regional Airport. Other areas of town saw more than rain than that. Even just a few miles down the interstate out in Clyde saw quite a bit more rain. Eastland, unfortunately, while you saw cloud cover and on and off rain most of yesterday, only got about half of an inch of rain out there. Now our weather's going to be much more quiet as we head into this afternoon, seeing plenty of sunshine out there. A next cold front's going to move in later this evening, though, and that's going to send temperatures falling into Saturday. Check out these afternoon highs, only making it into the mid 30s out there Saturday afternoon. It's going to be a very cold first half to our weekend. Some of us could even see a few snowflakes, maybe a little bit of freezing rain as we head into Saturday night. But Saturday, or here comes Sunday, we'll be back into the mid 40s again, closer to averages as we wrap up 2018. But you'll notice another cold front's going to move in heading into Monday night. And that's once again going to bring some very cold conditions heading into the first day of 2019. Well, let's take a look at that chance for winter weather as we head into Saturday. This is now Friday night. We're going to be mostly clear out there. You'll notice some snow starting to move into the panhandle as we head into early Saturday morning. That's where the better chance for snow is going to be. So if you have, if you have any travel plans up to the panhandle, be aware you might run into a little bit of snow as we head through Saturday. Again, I think the best chance for any snow across the big country, and it's only going to be a few flurries if we see anything at all. It's mainly going to be off to the northwest and in some of our far western counties. But we're going to stay cloudy through the day, helping to keep those very cold temperatures here. And then as we head into late Saturday night, early Sunday morning, I think this is overdoing it just a little bit, but it could be possible that we'll see a little bit of light drizzle out there. And some of that light drizzle could maybe be a little bit of light freezing rain as we head into Sunday morning. But good news is it's going to be very light if we see anything at all. So not anticipating any travel problems. That's the good news there. Today, enjoy the sunny weather out there. Again, breezy this morning. Those winds will start dying down though as we head later into the evening. Temperatures today going to make it into the 50s across the entire big country. Some of us could get into the upper 50s off to the south and southwest. Otherwise, sky is saying mostly sunny to sunny through the day. 55 for a high here in Abilene. Very seasonal for this time of year. We're going to watch that next cold front move in late tonight, and that's going to drop temperatures to below freezing for many of us across the big country as we'll see clear skies and light winds. Could be possible to see even a few upper and mid 20s off to the northwest as we head into Friday morning. So tomorrow is going to be a very cold start to the day, followed by temperatures staying only in the mid. 40s. That cloud cover moves in for Saturday, and that's going to keep us in the 30s with that very small chance for some winter weather. Warming into the last day of 2018 as that cold front's going to cool us into the 30s once again for highs to start 2019. Well,